Okay, friends, it's Friday the 20th of January 2023 and I thought I'd do a show and tell and also a little demonstration on how to score snap and butter the back of tiles or glass for your glass on glass mosaic or glass applique. So thought I'd give you a little round up on what I've been doing so far. As you know, it's a four foot in diameter glass table um, and I wanted to use glass as a substrate, not least because I always want to do a glass on glass, but actually it's all about having a, a stable substrate for your garden, no matter what type of weather you have, whether it's extreme heat or ice and snow. So, of course, I could have used steel, but that would be extremely expensive to have that cut to size. Um, as you know, um, some of you know that I made a wood um, table for my garden in plywood and it delaminated within a couple of months um, because of the extreme heat we had last year, you know, year before last, wasn't it? So, yeah, back to the drawing board and found this gorgeous smoked glass table um, on Facebook Marketplace for 20 of your pounds, so very cheap. Um, so what I decided to do um, at the beginning, um, well, in Twixmas, between Christmas and New Year, I thought, right, I'll bring that upstairs, dismantle it so the base is still downstairs in the garden. Um, and I thought I'd start working on a design and drawing with my favourite kind of inspiring points of undulations. So I've used all sorts of materials. So... You know, as, as I've said before, you know, it's smoked glass. So some of it will show in the um, underneath in the garden. Um, but do you know what? Light is the ex extra added value to making a glass on glass or glass applique in that as soon as I put it outside, it'll have a different zing to it. Um, I'm going to use black grout, a nice fine black grout by Bao, called Microband Micro Plus 2, I think it is. Um, anyway, all the information will be in the description box below. Um, so I've used all sorts of different kinds of glass. Let me bring my little box of goodies here. Um, I've used sheets. I've used sheets of glass as well, um, which I bought from um, Birmingham Specialist Glass. But I've also used all sorts of bits and pieces like, um, you know, in tile shops, um, you can find, you know, a one foot square sheet of these little sort of resin based glass um deliciousness and a bit of iridescence there which is perfect because you know a sheet of those could last you a couple of years really um so i've added those in as embellishments and additions to the mosaic helps to stretch it out as well not only is it a design feature but also it's a practical thing because if you just solely used glass uh it would be a very expensive venture um, I've had a few um, of my friends who are glass artists giving me all sorts of reject glass stuff that they don't want to use anymore like my friend um, Esther Naylor who's a stained glass artist um, Andy Tomlinson who creates all sorts of beautiful glass works to sell in craft fairs and my friend Patricia Parker as well, who who gave a whole load of gorgeousness that she doesn't didn't want to use anymore. So this kind of thing is just perfect. Look at that. Look at the look at the the light coming through there. Now what I've done with these this particular kind of glass, because um, obviously you won't be able to see it if it was against um, and glued onto the um, table but I've used white adhesive underneath so that way let me show you 
that way it has a different texture to it. So look at this one here. Look at that. So you've got this gorgeousness coming through all the, the subtleties of the striations of the glass as well, the textures. So that's worked out perfectly. So without further ado, there we are. Here we go. This is this is uh, these are the tools that I use to cut, which um, which is bog standard really for glass artists. Um, this is a Toyo glass scorer. Um, I don't use um, oil inside this because then you'll get messy oil all over the place, and the the uh, wheel stays sharp anyway, so there's no point to that, um, personally. Um, it says your leper knit run and pliers. It has a ridge at the top there and it's flat at the back. So you use the ridge top on the top of your glass sort of thing. I'll show you that in a minute. And um, a, um, a little batch of um, sandpaper as well. So, Here's the section that I'm working on today. And basically, um, I'm going to be scoring and snap, snapping this glass so it fits in here. And um, what I do is I get my, you know, I've got scraps now left over. But what I do now is uh, uh, draw out where I need the design to fall let me show you sort of thing so that it fits perfectly out the way move other little things in the way so So what I'm doing is scoring and snapping the glass. Now usually I don't put the board here, it's uh, up there you see. It's my little cutting section here but for the purpose of the film I thought I'd show you here. So what we're doing is scoring the line here with the glass scorer and then we take the running plier and then let's just pull it back a bit more we take the running plier and make sure that ridge is at the top and then give it a squeeze it's a very satisfying snap as well so there's where your drawing line is And that's where it will fit perfectly. There you go, look. So the next port of call is to glue it down, which everyone wants to know about. Everybody wants to know about the adhesives. So what I've got here is my Sudal Fix-All Crystal Clear. Now I know it's external grade, but I thought I'd double check it and um, I had a sheet of, uh, here's one I've done earlier, sort of um, a little bit of an in, a tutorial piece of glass. And I, um, I popped it in a bath overnight and uh, the glass did not move at all. So <laughs> it, I know it works. <laughs> so what we're doing is... We glue it in. So we have to butter butter the back. So for example, got the glue there, and what we do is make sure it's absolutely buttered or covered over all the glass. More about that in a second. And then we 
squeeze it into it. I tend to sort of go a couple of millimetres away and then slide it into position like so. And I'll do that one for you as well. Now, let's just uh, make sure I've got the right way around. Okay. Squeeze it down. There you go. Let's show you. There you go. Making sure it's sort of level and straight, sort of thing. Now, when I was saying about buttering the back, you've got to make sure it's covered completely with a nice thin layer of glass, a uh, nice thin layer of glue, and so that the glass would then slide into and onto the other piece of glass. Now, when it comes to um, the next stage, when I completely finish it all, um, I'll be creating a um, a wash with PVA glue. So it'll be 50-50 PVA glue to water solution and like a milky solution and then painting it all over and wiping away the excess so that if there's any holes and cavities, if there's a little bit of an undulation of the glass, for example, um, it would go underneath the glass so that when it comes to grouting you've got a nice clean line of grout it won't bleed underneath the glass now that's specific to when you use a glass on glass that actually is on mirror or window should I say not mirror on window um but um, I found because I butter it so well um, I've not had any grout bleed thankfully. So the next port of call is to now measure up sections here. So I've got these lovely square vitreous tiles so I'm going to be adding those in a nice line down here and I've also got these gorgeousness that I've got from Mosaic Supplies which uh, which you can get easily around the world, I think. Um, and they're very good for infilling. Now, what I'm planning to do is cutting these in half so that I've got a little bit of a design like I had here. So let's just give you a close-up of that. So, yeah, so it looks like that. And once it's all in filled with grout, it's going to look delightful. So that's the next plan of action. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's 13 minutes long. I think it's long enough for you. Um, find me on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, obviously subscribe to this YouTube channel. Okay then, see you soon. Bye.